Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to install a SATA hard drive. Oh, I'm sorry, an SSD SATA hard drive. I know it's the most simplest thing, but it's just like a guideline so you guys know certain things when you are having a new or an old or a used motherboard and you want to go with the SSD, please make sure of the following things. I always, if it is the boot hard drive or any hard drive, I always try to use the first SATA power because if it is a cheap power supply, there is a chance that over a period of time these joints or this these connectors might get damaged or something might happen or let's say that you're going to use this and you're going to stretch it and pull it so maybe these joint connections could get damaged so always i use the first one the closest one from the power supply and i make sure if there is no clip i just plug it in in the correct way please do not reverse install it and destroy the hard drive so this is the right way to install it push it in and make sure it's fully inserted and make sure there is no um, stress on this one because it's a small board inside it it will get easily damaged so i'm going to take this out because we already shown you how to connect and remember try to always use the closest one uh, to the one and try to avoid using any of these because let's say you connect a fan or another device into this and that device malfunctions and presents a bad power uh, it could also damage your SSD and your boot and all the information might be lost. So try to use always an empty one, empty rail because a uh, good power supply have separate rails uh, for uh, powering each of these wires. On the motherboard, you will have a lot of uh, SATA connectors and on the older board, some of them are 6 gigabit per second and there will be 3 gigabit also. So follow the manual, look at the motherboard uh, instruction manual and find out which one is the first hard drive. Now here it's mentioned SATA 1 is probably SATA 0, then it's saying 0, so probably it's uh, one of these. So what I would do is I would just take the cable. Now when it comes to the cable, one of the things you need to notice, there is two kind of cable. One is the one without uh, any kind of locking, so you just plug and remove the same way. There is also an angle type, sometimes it's useful to install it on the, on the case when the hard drive is mounted straight. And the other type of cable is one with the lock. Remember, if you have the lock, please uh, make sure you press the lock. Otherwise, you're going to damage the socket and even damage uh, this part of the hard drive. So once you insert it, you heard the click. Don't pull it out. If you see the lock, make sure you press it and pull it out slowly. So make sure you always install the boot hard drive in the first port as much as possible. And well, another thing that you need to notice is once you install the hard drive, Go into the BIOS, if you're going to install the operating system, try to go into the advanced setting of the hard drive or the SATA configuration and make sure you enable AHCI before it's not uh, IDE, it should be AHCI and not RAID, you're not going to use RAID under normal circumstances and then proceed to install the hard drive. This is the most important thing you need to be sure, this has to be selected and that's pretty much on how to set up the SSD hard drive. I hope you all learned something today. And thank you for watching. You have a wonderful day.